post-processual archaeology. Post-processual archaeology developed in Britain during the 1980s as a reaction against the archaeological approaches of processual archaeology, or new archaeology, and their theory of science and explanations based on logical positivism. Scholars argued that processual archaeology was too reliant on scientific methods, functionalist explanations, systems theory and general laws, and paid little attention to the social arena of the past. Concerns were derived from background studies such as history, art, culture and belief systems, which were considered crucial subjects for understanding the past and felt ignored by processionalism. Processionalism was accused of its uncritical acceptance of positivism, stress on functionalism and environmental adaption, behaviour emphasis on social relations or cognition or ideology, lack of concern of the present social production of knowledge and their overemphasis on stability rather than conflict. Post-processionalists believed that processionalism had made archaeology devoid of cultural context and had become so rational it was dehumanised. It was Ian Hodder at Cambridge in 1985 that first used the term post-processual. Hodder was influenced by the processionalist David Clark, but was frustrated that he was unable to devise sophisticated quantitative methods to describe the distribution of archaeological artefacts or phenomena accurately, and did not have a solid idea of what the phenomena represented. Hodder aimed to investigate generalities about human existence and study ethnoarchaeology in order to put objects into richer context. Many scholars joined Hodder in the attempt to provide archaeology with a more sophisticated concept of past society and to explore ancient societies through archaeological material. Post-processionalists began to experiment with concepts in neo-Marxism, gender theory and critical theory in present societies in order to gain an understanding of past societies. Processual archaeology viewed humanity as passive, with men and women often appearing as determined by and within a larger system. Their behaviour was viewed as predictable because there are necessary linkages between the components of social structure systems and between material culture and human behaviour. Hodder, however, argued that although behaviour can be interpreted after an event, it cannot be predicted. Human behaviour occurs within specific cultural contexts because actions and responses are mediated by cultural values. He described individuals as social actors, actively negotiating their position within society. Other post-processionalists, such as Christopher Tilley, took a neo-Marxist approach, merging elements of deconstruction with a focus upon relations, while Mark Leone investigated how institutions of modern capitalism came into being by how they reproduced themselves and how this affected archaeological interpretations. Post-processual studies regarded social power, structure, social change and gender within societies of the present and history as a means by which to understand past human behaviour. These views called controversy in the archaeological world and angered processionalists who believed that studies of this nature were raising metaphysical issues which were irrelevant in archaeological science. Where processual archaeology argued material culture was acted upon by humans at different times and places to achieve certain goals, post-processual archaeology believed this view to be passive and ignore how objects were both shaped by and could shape social action and that it is the dual character of material culture that is drawn upon by social actors in their daily lives which results in social transformations. In America, post-processionalism and processionalism have both become seen as the complements of each other, while in the UK they are considered separate theoretical approaches, and post-processionalism has evolved into concepts such as material culture. Post-processionalism has, however, made less of an impact on archaeological thought in other areas of the world. Other theoretical approaches to archaeology will be discussed in further videos. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Simple Archaeology.